Hello, today is January 5th, 2019. My last call was made when futures were down here. I said the pattern called for a gap and prompt move outside the day's range. I said even though futures were lower, I couldn't rule out that you would trade up. And if so, the target was to fill the hole in the wall, a gap, and then trade into the low 2500s. Turns out that's what happened. During the day, Meech AT gave an ultimate sell signal. System says the drop is false, gives us a target of 2537.98, most likely to print on Monday. We have mixed signals here. I'm not certain this one's going to print. In fact, it could fail in grand style. Let's not forget that one of the times these targets fail to print is right at trend extremes. So when you see one right near the high of the day like this, your antenna go up. You have mixed signals. It's, so the most common thing is we gap and promptly move outside the day's range. Next most common close, it'll change of the big move Tuesday, at least counting by a large margin as neither one of those things happen. Now it's positive we have a higher target, and it's positive that Monday's pattern is the one with the early low and the late high. It tends to be an up day unless you drop early. What's negative about the pattern is that we gapped up, hit higher highs, and couldn't hold on to any of the highs at the close. So either you take these out early, or else you drop. Uh, to go over why I think this high might hold, let's discuss price and let's discuss time. I think it's impossible to count waves with any degree of accuracy at this point in the pattern. I'm thinking this is A and we're going to make an ABC to complete B. And the, the argument on a smaller time frame that if that say we have an ABC with good Fibonacci balance right at this high. So that's the price. Now let's talk about the time. Now I was ready to give up on this system of mine and I've been reluctant to go over how I came up with these dates. But let's just go over it with the understanding that sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. This one certainly worked on the the 28th, that was pretty good. And it's giving a change in trend right now, which it says is a high. It's all a variation of the GAN fan. It looks for squaring of time and price, like you measure from this low. You see that that's right at the low here. And you measure like one day and one point, and you get a high right where we are now. And you look out X days and see a move of X points or multiples, you know, two X days or, or four X days, that kind of stuff, three X days, and work in the other direction. So what I do is turn this around. Instead of looking out X number of days and looking for a price, looked for moves from lows of X number of points and looked for a time. Now way back in March of 2003, we had a rally of 107 points. So what I did was to measure out every 107 calendar days. Now some of these hits were amazing. This missed the all time high by a day. Look at this hit here, right there. Right there, that's not bad. That's pretty good. This is off by a little. I'm going to call this one a miss. Missed by a little bit. This one is right here at this high. It's, it's pretty close. And it's giving a hit right now. So it has a hit by that system, but what really makes it interesting is that we've just had a 192-point rally. And if you go back 192 trading days, 
not calendar days, you get a perfect hit. So it's a variation, but it's a squaring of time and price right at this high. If that's going to work, if you're going to have a day which is low to high, which is going to drop, we should drop right from the open. If we're looking for a gap and to move outside the day's range and we gap down, the immediate target is to undercut this low relatively quickly. And without too much delay, the next target is to close the hole in the wall, to close the hole in the wall gap and undercut this low. Now, I don't know how we're going to open Monday, but if we start by gapping down, if we start by gapping down, we have targets of undercutting this low and this low, not necessarily in a day, but uh, more likely than not, probably within a day or so. If we don't do that, the next most likely thing is then we gap up, overtake this high, break through those GAN fan time and price squaring I talked about, and then you've overcome resistance. Then I don't know how high we're going to go, although this is a diamond on stilts inverted. Here's your stilt. Here's your stilt. And half a diamond's all you need. The first move past the origin of the left stilt almost always fails. And another rule we have is the better the base, the stronger the move. A base of a point like this eventually fails. Eventually, you close this gap and undercut this low and find support there. And more often than not, it takes a day or so. So we're looking this to fail. This is a reasonable time and a reasonable price. If we overtake it instead, it should happen at the open and the whole argument falls apart. Then we don't have any call. But if we start out by dropping instead, I think we're in store for a major league tank. We'll see how we open, and that's today's call.